Mr. Smith, how do you do? Good. My, okay. name's, my name's Dr. McDonald and Anne is my scribe. She'll be doing the computerized medical record for me. Hi. So, I understand you're here today with chest pain. Yeah. Can you describe the chest pain for me? Um, well, about two weeks ago I kind of had this, began to have this on and off pain, just kind of all over. Um, but then last night sometime I got like a pressure right right over here. And is that still there? That pressure yeah, that's, right now? Yeah, that's been there since. Oh, is there a pattern to this pain? Was there Were there things that brought it on? Um, not that I can remember, although I think sometimes it would get worse when I was walking. What kind of work do you do? I work at a grocery store, stocking shelves. Well, did it get worse if you would lift a heavy box of uh, products? No. When you got the pain, how long would it last? Usually a few minutes, but sometimes it would last a couple hours. Anything that would make it go away? Um, usually if I'd sit down and rest, it would get better, but sometimes it would In, continue. What would you say is the, the character of the pain? Is it burning, sharp, dull, pressure? Um, I'd say it was an ache. An ache? In the central chest here? Yeah, just... Okay. Yep. Now the pain that you have since last night, is that different? Yeah, that's, that's not on and off, it's, um, it's been there. Since what time last night? Um, probably about 9 o'clock. Okay. Now, we like to keep track of chest pain, severity of chest pain, and we use a 0 to 10 scale, with 0 being no pain, and 10 being the worst pain you've ever had. What number would you give this? I'd say an 8. All right. So it's constant. It's an 8. Is there anything that has seemed to ease up this pain for you or to make it worse? Um, not really. I think it got a little better with oxygen on the way to the nerves uh, But in the ambulance? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Are you uh, feeling short of breath with this pain? Uh, yeah, since last night. I wasn't before. Are you breaking out in sweats? No. Are you nauseated? No. Lightheaded? No. Do you feel your heart beating fast or irregular? No. Last night when you tried to sleep, were you more short of breath if you laid flat in bed? Did you ever have to sit up to catch your breath? No. Now, is there anything else going on like fever, chills, cough, any respiratory symptoms? Um, I cough once in a while, but I think that's because of my smoking. Bringing up any phlegm? No. Are you, uh, does the coughing make the chest pain worse? Um, yeah. Yeah. So it hurts more when you cough? Yep. How about pain or swelling in your legs? No. Have you been on any long trips recently? Like overseas flights or... No. Nope. Road trips? No. Nope. Okay. Any family history that's uh, significant? Any heart attacks at young ages or blood clots in the legs? Um, I think my dad had a heart attack at 65. Okay. And my mom had a blood clot in her legs, but I don't remember. Okay. She was. So as far as risk factors for heart disease, do you smoke? Have you been diagnosed with high blood pressure? Yes. High cholesterol? No. Uh, diabetes? No. Okay. All right. Do you use drugs, street drugs, marijuana? No. How much alcohol do you use in a typical week? Um, about two drinks. Okay. All right. Um, any other symptoms unrelated to what we've talked about so far that you might not have thought of mentioned? Any headache, diarrhea, trouble urinating, abdominal pain? Uh, lightheadedness, uh, headache? No, sometimes I get some pain in my left shoulder when I'm getting the pain, um, when I'm getting the, the chest pain. At the same time? Yeah. Does it go down your arm? Um, not really, it just kind of goes to the shoulder and sometimes into the into neck. Into the neck? Yeah. Through to your back? Nope. Okay. All right.
right, well, let me check you over here, okay? Okay. First, I'm going to concentrate on your, your heart and lungs here, first of all, since, that's the, since you're having chest pain. I'm going to listen to your heart. Heart sounds normal. And then I'm going to just take a look at your neck. Turn your head a little bit away. So no neck vein distension. That's good. Let's check your pulses here. Good. And then I would have you take off your shoes. Now, can you sit up for me? And take some deep breaths. There's some wheezing and crackles at the left base. All right, down you go. Have you been having indigestion? No. Nope. Are you tender when I press on your belly here? No. Nope. Does this make this chest pain any worse? No. How about down low here? Okay. And in looking at the legs, there's no swelling, no redness. Any tenderness in the legs? Nope. Okay. Well, we're going to be getting a cardiogram, checking some blood tests. You do have a few risk factors for heart disease, so we'll be getting a cardiogram and some blood tests for your heart. Uh, also, we'll get a chest x-ray, and uh, that probably will take about an hour, and then uh, I'll come back and discuss the results with you. Okay. In the meantime, we'll have the nurse give you a, a nitroglycerin just to see if that uh, reduces your pain. If your cardiogram shows something, I'll be back immediately. Okay. Okay? Thank you. See you in a bit.